now, since she's responsible for adjusting herself, what's happening is her hair is getting over her face. Okay. And so she starts to wipe it away. I got you. I don't want, if I continue to let that happen, she'll chain the series of events to include the right. hand swipe. What about a swim cap? Could we use a swim cap? You could, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay. It's probably not something she's going to wear later on anyway. Okay. So I would prefer it. There oh, you good go. bird. Or, I think good just bird. a little flip. Okay. Or whatever you can we've, get. We've, I know she's got very fine hair. We, we've got it all. We've got her. <laughs> she's had hair since she was born. So. Yeah. And I'm off. Now she turns herself. Nice. Keep your head up. Good. Good job. Now did she wait to take a breath or was she taking a breath right away? No, she took she waited because the water was still over so. her face. Because of her hair being around her, sure. she's um giving it a second. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what happens is as a sensory motor learner, mm -hmm. she decides what to do based on the feelings that she has. It's not okay. a cognitive process at all. Right. It's not like what you do, uh, especially when you're working with your rescue uh, work. Mm -hmm. You respond to oh, the I don't. I don't work as a rescue I You were trained as that, a rescue Just worker. a train. I was trained in the military, okay. correct. But yeah. when yeah. you were doing yeah. that, yeah. you not only responded to the environment, and by that I mean how high is the sea swells, uh, sure, sure. how far, uh, you know, how deep is the water you're working right. in, uh, what's the visibility of it, but you also responded to the cognit cognitively, right. the things that you were taught, mm -hmm. and the things that you can work through with your mind. Right. She doesn't work anything through cognitively yet. She responds to everything on a, on a sensory motor level. Right, meaning she right. feels it and then she tries something. Right. Sees if she likes the outcome, if she doesn't like the outcome, she'll quit doing that thing, she'll try something else. Okay. So right now, what I want her to respond to is, as she's turning in the water, she feels different things on her face, meaning she feels where the water is coming on her face. Right. That's how she decides, if the water is up here on my mouth, I need to put it back this way. Okay. But because the hair is also in the yeah. now, yeah. she's responding to the hair. She's not getting a true, uh, right, right. A true picture of what the water's doing. We can so. definitely put her hair wherever it needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have a little, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll use a little clip or a little rubber band. Yeah, now, yeah, uh, that's easy. Sure, sure. So that it doesn't come over her. We've mouth. been trying to do braids. We're talking about braids, yeah. especially when she goes to bed, because. She wears a nightcap when she goes to oh, bed, a little it. night hat, yeah. yeah. So she's used to hats, so that's why I was wondering if a, if a swim cap would if work. If you can find yeah. one yeah. for a little baby, you're yeah. welcome to, I have yeah. no problem with it. In okay. fact, it'd be very easy for her. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to find one. I've not seen any, anybody wearing them yet. We definitely have rubber bands and, and okay. plenty of that well, stuff. Yeah, one of those little tiny ones that will okay. we'll just secure sure, sure. this so it's not in her face when okay. she makes the rotation. Perfect. My goodness.
right now, Brian, trying to get nice. her head to come back a little bit further. Right, right. And then for her to maintain that position for longer intervals. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Leaning out the schedule of proper float orientation so that eventually, if she ever needs to, she can float here forever. Right. Yeah, somebody was asking me how long, oh. what's the goal? And I'm like, I would think as long as necessary, yes. you know. Yeah. If it's a half an hour, well, you know, yeah. God forbid it shouldn't take that long. But, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. because, especially at this age, um, because of the way their bodies are shaped, yeah. Once they, once you get them in the correct position, right. once they get themselves in the correct, they can. There's yeah. no energy yeah. expenditure. That's the way I, I look at it. Yeah. 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 And so, I mean, I've had kids in the middle of like a Michigan lake, a lake in Michigan, uh -huh. where the um, grandpa and me were in a flotation float boat. You know, whether it's sure. float boat thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they went. The boat sunk. Wow. And Grandpa tried to hold on to the baby. The baby's probably three. Yeah. They've been back maybe two and a half. Right. They've been back for a refresher that summer. Right. Finally, Grandpa let, had to let go because he was trying to keep himself up. Sure, sure. Then he just floated, and a, yeah. and a, a fishing boat came by and found him. Wow, that and was fortunate. Fine. The baby just floated. Just, just sat there and floated. Well, they have a little extra baby fat too. Yeah, I imagine that do. helps. Yeah. With that yeah. and the fact that their head is the largest part of them, so if you can. Which is what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, if you can shape the head orientation correctly so that they know where to place their head, right. they can fall asleep. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now you see, too, we have the left arm much lower in the water. Yeah. And the head is much further back now. So we're doing good work. Making progress. Yeah. We like yeah. progress. <laughs> we like progress. Hi, Sadie. Right. Uh, it's all over. Okay. Go see your daddy. Tell him what a good job you did.